How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the stream. What is today? Wednesday? Wednesday. Wednesday stream. We're going to play some more Coffee Talk. Um, I don't know how much we have left to do. I guess we can check it out. Really? I made like no progress yesterday. Look at this. I made like, like I was at like a quarter of the way through the game. There you go. And I'm not even half yet. Okay. Um. Anyways, we're starting a little bit late today, uh, mostly because um, there was a PS5 drop today of, of restock stuff, and alas, I did not get one, which is fine because I don't need one, and it would have been a complete impulse buy, and I probably would have had buyer's remorse immediately, but whatever, it's fine. I think I just... Whoop, I just really want to play Bloodborne <laughs> on 60 frames with a randomizer on my PS4. That's why I, I want a PS5. And if you don't understand that, it's because I don't want to uh, jailbreak my P current PS4 until I have the PS5. Makes sense. We are seeing Cody criticized for unfair depiction of a werewolf in their latest box office hit. Coachella. Oh yeah, we read that yesterday. I don't remember that headline, the werewolf one though. Got a hang now. Welcome. Oh, it's Freya. You're looking much better today. Hey there. Good evening, Freya. You look very cheerful today. And it's all thanks to you. What did I do? <laughs> I finally got a good night's sleep last night. Yes, that warm milk. Like, I slept like a log. A proper 12 hours of closing my eyes and not thinking about anything. Nice. Good for you. You really needed that. I know. But I had the deadline coming, and I've been pushing myself to finish this draft. A bit too much, I guess. So how's it going now? You won't believe this. I probably will. Or I probably will. But when I woke up this afternoon, the words just flowed through me like water. water. See? Get some sleep in you, and you can heck and do it. Is Jaden down here? Jaden cookies! What's up, Pancake? Jaden wanna get this cookie? Go get it. I'm good this cookie. I'm good as cookie. Mm, good doggy. She just had her dinner, so she's like, ooh, more snackies. Oh, it's fine, Pancake. It's probably better for, or for the best that I didn't get one, because... Like, what would I get with it? I would literally get a PS5 so I could jailbreak my PS4. And then I'd, I'd be like, okay, well, I need to get... I think Demon Souls is the only real one that I'd really be wanting to play right now. The Spider-Man Man one looks kind of good. There's nothing else really out yet that looks crazy awesome. So, it's fine. Plus, I usually like getting the, the slim versions if they come out with one. So, I can wait. I can be patient. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. The words for flow through me and not force crap like I've been writing recently. And that's why taking a break is important. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to start lecturing me now. So what's your plan now? Now, as in right at this moment? I'm planning to go to the bathroom and wash my face. And after that, I'll continue writing. Sounds like a solid plan. Yeah, you know where the restroom is. Merch! Welcome to this dream! Kids are, kids are being hellions already. School just started. Oh boy. Yep. Okay, I need something to drink now. Freya, you're unemployed. Don't waste your money on coffee shop drinks. That is so weird, coming from a coffee shop owner. Because I care about my friends. I know. You've been a regular for years. If you only need the vibes of the place, just right here. Nah, uh, I can't do that. You don't have any customers tonight. I, I could get more. It's fine, dude. Why would I... What would I do if this place went bankrupt? It won't happen. How can you be so sure? Just take this tap water and go do your work, okay? Take this tap water. But... 
Ding, ding, ding. Look, customers. Aha! See? There's a customer coming right now. So don't you worry about me. Hey, dude. You feeling okay? Oh. Hi. Hi, Gala. What's wrong? Don't be embarrassed, man. I know you're a man of few words, but this is maybe pushing it a bit. Freya! Hey. I'm truly very sorry for what happened yesterday. Gala. Hey, it's alright. No one got hurt, right? And the coffee shop's fine. Don't think about it too much, Gala. Like Freya said, no casualties and no problems with the coffee shop. I still need to redeem myself for the mess I made, and the scare I gave you. It sucks being a werewolf. They smeared actual shit on a mirror yesterday? Bruh. Didn't school just start? Oh man, hopefully that's not, you know, setting tone for the rest of the year. And th that's like one of those things, like, I would find who did that. And once I did, I would be like, I'm taking a shit as the janitor and I'm smearing my shit on the w mirror. And I'm gonna make that little fucker clean it up himself. <laughs> Woo! I'd get fired, but you know what? Fuck that little kid. Smearing shit on the wall. Piece of shit. Learn a goddamn lesson. I still need to, re oh, I read that. I'm sure there's something I can do. Mm, why don't you buy something for the lady here? Oh, I'm a good, I'm a good person. Look at me. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Hey, what do you mean? You want anything to drink, Freya? No. It's all right, Gala. I insist. You don't have to. Please accept it. At least it'll help me stop feeling so guilty. At least a little. All right, all right. I wouldn't mind a coffee. Not an espresso, mind you. Something a little less of a kick. Ooh. You know how to make sugar and spice? Mm, uh, do I know how to make sugar and spice, guys? I'm not sure. You've had it. You kn you know who did it? It's either sixth or seventh grade. I'll find them. I will find them, and they will get. We have cameras everywhere. Oh. Oh yes, please. Just tell me that you find them, and then like. You bring them into the principal's office and like, we have a, uh, we, we have video evidence of you uh, being a jackass. And uh, now you're getting community service for the school. And for the remainder of the week, you guys are, you know, helping the janitor. Wouldn't that be awesome? In school suspension. That's boring. Make them do something. And then hope to God that someone else smoke, smear shit on a whip mirror and be like, listen, that's karma, bitches. And make them do it. Although parents would probably be like, you have something made my kid clean up shit. Bad, bad. Fuck your kids. Fuck them kids. Make them, they shit on, or they, they did this. Fuck them kids. Need some goddamn life experience. Oh, don't get me started with them child labor laws. I was in high school and we, I don't remember what it was, but there was some sort of event. Okay, story time. Story time. Okay, so there was some sort of event that happened. I don't remember what it was, but uh, it ended and my friends and I were like, well, we're bored. We're just going to hang out. So we all like left, got out of the school. And then we were just kind of hanging out on the school grounds. It was, it was dark. And um, we were just kind of playing hacky sack. And then one of my dumbass friends was like, hey. This stop sign, like, there, there's like a little roundabout, not a roundabout, but a U thing that you can go, like, drop kids off and get back out. And there's like a stop sign there for some fucking reason. And so he's like, this is loose. And he pulled it out of the ground. And then, like, he swung it around a couple times. Like, dude, fucking don't be an idiot. Put it back. And so he put it back. Um, but, like, the janitor came out and he's, like, on the phone. Like, I, we think he, he was calling the police. But, like, he, he was a dick. Like, didn't even talk to us. He was like, hey, are we supposed to leave? And he's like, just didn't even answer. He's like, why you gotta be a dick? Anyway, um, so, like, we're like, all right, well, we'll just leave. And then a couple days later, we got called into the, the counselors or something. And there was a cop. 
and whatever. And then I was like, I don't know what's going on. And they're like, hey, blah, 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 destruction of property. And I was like, we didn't destroy anything. One, it wasn't me. The fuck? Getting all these messages. And I'm like, one, it wasn't me. And this cop was a dick. Like he was trying to bust me, get something on my permanent record. Thankfully, my the counselor person was cool. It's like this guy has zero record of any disciplinary actions throughout his entire schooling. He doesn't need this. Let's just let him do something around the school to pay for it or whatever. And so thank goodness for her. But they made us clean the fucking like four tiered stairway of the drama theater kids thing where they stored everything and that stairway was nasty and the okay so me and this my buddy that didn't do anything that we told him to put it back we had to do this right and there was like splatters of blood and stuff this is concrete stairs we cleaned them fucking the buddy that pulled it up he didn't have to do a single fucking thing so we got busted for no goddamn reason for doing nothing and he get away with it and so like child labor laws like so I, if i would have known better and i wasn't and if i was more of a wave maker i would have just like man this is fucking stupid whatever and so i just went up well along with it but i could have been like you can't make me do that I, um i wasn't involved and on top of that fuck you you can't make me do that but whatever yeah anyways story time hope you enjoyed uh, do I know how to make sugar and spice? Um, the one with cinnamon. Yeah. Yes. A cup of sugar and spice, please. Do I know how to make that? Sugar. Oh, I learned something. I learned another thing. Sugar and spice. Okay, so it's coffee keep your school clean to a pretty decent standard so nothing grows like that well you have a you have a pretty small school right and they said actually i think i know this drink there's honey in it i think honey and cinnamon what i'll do is talk to them and use what but like dust and germs are on the things. It's literally an old high school campus. How, what, uh, what's your, your average graduating class size? Sugar and spices for the lady with the vices. Oh shit, did I fuck it up? I didn't even read what I did. God damn it. Hey. Oh well, I won't complain. Thank you, Gala. Don't mention it. We have five fields plus the school. 540. All right, yeah. Wow. I, I guess you have a team, though. Yeah, right? You have a small team under you. Yeah, apparently that drama theater stairway never got cleaned by anyone. But everything else did. And when I say there was blood... It wasn't, it wasn't like someone got hit in the head and there's blood everywhere. It's like you could just tell someone like got a paper cut or like they were carrying something up or down and cut themselves and there was just like drops kind of thing. Hey, are you sure there's nothing I can do for you? You don't have to do anything, Gala. It's fine. But to be honest, I'm curious. What happened yesterday? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, you usually stay indoors during the full moon, don't you? I usually do. But there was an emergency at the hospital yesterday. What kind of an emergency? Mm. The hospital was really packed yesterday after that announcement. Announcement? The one saying that a replacement government issued Fury Sedative will be available soon. Releasing that news on the day of the full moon was just stupid. Yeah. So mainly restless, restless werewolves came asking about the sedative, which isn't ready yet. But the announcement said it wasn't ready. Just that it was coming soon. You think people read the whole article? Yep. They only saw the headline or glanced at it at the news stall. Then they went straight to the hospital. 
I don't blame them though. Finding out that the only publicly available sedative is dangerous, it's difficult for some people. I ended up having to explain it to a dozen of werewolves. I even had put some rogue werewolves in the isolation rooms. It was that bad, huh? Yeah, to the point that we ran out of rooms to put them in. Oh boy. You have 930 graduating this year? My god. I mean, we have a night crew from a third party. Oh, you guys have a night crew too, huh? Also, had a snake baby in the school. Was not fun spreading a snake repellent around campus. There's snake repellents? What kind of snake? Do you know what kind of snake? Normally, I'd have asked a friend to lock me in one of our isolation rooms, of course. I couldn't, so I rushed right back to my apartment. But it was too late. Thankfully, I was in this area, and I managed to force myself to come to your place. Alan, excuse me for asking this. Yes? But you didn't hurt anyone on the way here, right? As far as I remember, no. And I didn't see any blood on my clothes. That's good to hear. This, this might sound overly confident. Considering what happened yesterday, but I have enough control to make sure I don't hurt anyone. As long as I have something to direct my fury towards. Usually, I end up destroying stuff around me. Or worse cares, hurting myself. Danger noodle repellent is awful. Rat snakes, water snakes. Okay, copperheads. Yeah, you don't you don't want those then. It just smells real bad. I've never heard of snake repellent. Despite all that, I'm still glad no one got hurt. Always looking for a positive side, aren't you? Just doing my job. Thanks, both of you. You're, I really mean it. But please, if there's anything I do can do to pay you, but I mean, if there's anything I can do to help, please don't hesitate to ask me right away. Will do. Or will do. In the meantime, can I order a drink? Sure. What are you having? Same as yesterday. Uh, the gala thing. It's tea and milk, not coffee. Tea and milk and ginger. I always get confused between the milk and the, the cinnamon. Aha! It's how you got your little brother to stay away from him. <laughs> I had to explain not to say snake over the radio and said say danger noodle. And they thought I was crazy. You can't say snake over the radio for because it'll freak people out. A slither boy. Here's your special brew. Thank you. Mmm, delicious. The drink that saved me. Once again, thank you for helping me find this drink. Oh, no ropes, yeah. By the way, Gala, now that you can, yeah, now that you can be a hundred percent sure that the drink is your natural sedative. Why don't you put some in a bottle and carry it with you everywhere? That's the plan. Oh. It has to be warm, though. I can use a vacuum flask, I suppose. I'll give it a try next full moon. Don't worry, Freya. I'm going to stay at my place for the next full moon. I'm not taking any risks. Before I can make sure how effective that remedy is. Phew. Who's slamming my doors? What the? Oh, hi, it's you. R R Rachel? What's going on? Ha! What else? Y your father? Of course! What the hell was he thinking? Coming backstage at Coachella. Just to get into an argument with my manager. Huh? Before we continue, hey, a cafe latte, please. That's just coffee and double milk, right? Coffee, milk, milk. 
There you go. Oh, I made uh, an Akali yesterday in my latte art. Hmm. Idea. Look, it acts weird. Just make a circle, man. So frustrating. If I get like... Can I turn this at the same time? No. I don't even know how to make it now. I had an idea, but it can't make a circle. hearts and I am not talented enough to do a cat no idea what that is squiggles it's a stormy day that's what this is it up a little bit. I don't even know what this is. It's a thing. Oops. Like, why is it pulling it from above? See, it doesn't make sense. That's not how that works. I can't. Okay. What did I make? I made a mess. Here you go. I made a mess. Enjoy. Your cafe latte is ready. Thanks. How did he manage to get backstage? He told security he was my father. They just believed him? go well at least oh yeah other than the arguments backstage everything was great i was the first one to play on the main stage usually no one pays much attention to whoever's on first but there were thousands of people in the audience during my session nice so you don't need to be at the event anymore after this not really i did my stage time and then there was this press conference after my show after show press conference the show was done already. Today it was a small one. There were almost a dozen journalists who wanted to interview me. 
So we decided to do, do a mini conference. Good for you. You're totally back in the game, huh? I guess I am. Thanks for thanks to Mr. Lester. I would say it's because of you. But your manager probably works some of his influence too. <laughs> so why are you here? Uh, because of Dad, of course. I told him to come here this evening. I really need to set things straight. So why you come to my coffee shop? Go home. He needs to stop messing with my manager so much. And because this evening is the only time we can meet, I can't go to the party Mr. Lester, Lester is hosting. What party? He's also getting a party for the VIPs and artists he manages. At a club in Belltown. Is it okay for you to go to the party without a guardian? Yeah, is it an over 21 party? I'm 18, remember? I'm an adult! Yeah, because adults say that. Yeah. Yeah, but you can only enter some clubs if you're 21. See? Pray a thing in here. Not this time! Because Mr. Lester's is my manager, and it's his party! Hmm... That's super sketch. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. It's true! No, I know you can do that by using his name. But I don't think you should do that with you. Why? I'm an adult- Yo! Freya laying the snack down! No, you're not, Rachel. Have you ever been to one of the Lester's parties? Well, no. You have? Not personally. I've heard stories. What stories? He knows how to party. That's good then. Hmm, that's not necessarily a good thing. Knowing how to party might mean something else entirely. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You'll find out. Especially if you keep Lester on as your manager. Personally, I don't mind wild parties. But inviting an underage person to his party? That might be a bit too far. Yes! Totally not okay. Well, huh? It's a cat! Oh, it's her dad! Look at him! Look at him! He's like a small version of Gala! No, Pancake! Bad time right now! Meow. <laughs> Does he have a black eye? Did he get punched? Oh, he looks adorable in this form. He should just stay like that. What the hell? Oh no! Dad! No, stay in that form. You're adorable. What? Rachel, is that Mr. Henry? Please. Just milk? Just milk. Milk, milk, milk. I'm gonna warm it up. All right, it's fine. Here you go. Milk for you. Here you go. He's got a mustache. Hold on to what? He ain't dying. Can somebody call me an ambulance, please? They're on their way. Yo, Gala's a G. Look at him. He's already, like, on top of things. We got a whole cool support group going on here. I've contacted the hospital. Thank you. I've also contacted our Nekomimi expert personally. She's off shift right now, but she's also on the way. Thank you so much. I don't know what would have happened. Might have happened without your help. Someone else would have called the hospital? Don't mention it. Here they come. I'll go with you. Okay. Yo, but... Cats have lactose intolerance. They can't process real milk. You. Does it give them really bad farts? Oh, boy. That was really something, huh? Yeah. Two days in a row. An emergency at your place. Well, at least some people think of it your place as their go-to when they need help. You're right. It's not every day you look at things from the bright side. Ha! <laughs> well, I'm one of your coffee shop disciples, right? So I kind of understand them. I hope Henry's all right. Me too. 
At least he's in good hands now. Oh, for some reason I read now as uwu. I have no idea how my brain translated that. What's your plan for the rest of the night? Well, that was all pretty hectic. I need to continue writing. Take your time and place then. Will do. You think there's a delay between my speaking and camera? No. I hate when that happens. Is there a delay now? How does it sound? Are we good? Hello, friend. How bad is the delay? Also, what's an annex? I'm fucking with you guys. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> okay, but when you first said there, w there was a slight delay, I was not fucking with you. So, if there is a slight delay now, definitely let me know, but... Yeah, I was doing the delayed speaking thing. <laughs> How you doing, Maddox? I couldn't uh, mute the webcam fast enough because I was going to be like, putting all is cool. It didn't work that way. Tonight's been kind of trash. Oh, that sucks, dude. Why is that? If, I mean, if you want to... If you want to share with the class. Why do parents use X marks the spot? Because they can't ever find the G spot. I wouldn't want an X anywhere near that area. Police raid on private Coachella after party in biggest drug and sex related bus of the year. King C. Fucking psychopath. That guy. <laughs> that guy's like it wearing um, scrubs or something and he's butt naked. Look at him. How did I miss the joke? I got it. Basically, it's been pouring. I like rain. Oh, so you couldn't go to your girlfriend's house. That's a bummer. She didn't want to ask when I was... Um, okay, Maddox. I don't know if I'm understanding. You, you guys were gonna FaceTime. She said... Yes, she wanted to FaceTime, but you never ended up FaceTiming because she didn't want to ask when when you were going to what? Is that a... It could be a bite mark. I kind of assumed it was a... Like a light thing, but I... I let's go with the bite mark. That's funnier. Oh, I got you. She had fam over, so... I told her to tell me when. She never said when I was gonna, meaning that she wanted me to call her. But she should, if she, if she had prior arrangements, she should have been the one to call you, right?
Welcome. It's Georgie. Hey, Pop. Good evening, everyone. I can't oh, wait, his voice. Everyone safe and sound tonight? There it is. So far, so good, officer. With the cop who's supposed to be watching this area hang out in a coffee shop? I'm not so sure about that. Hey, I'm working right now. I'm on break. I just love multitasking, you know? That requires skill. Taking a break and working at the same time, you mean? You know it. That's an oxymoron. I told her I could do whatever and I knew she had fam over. I told her to call me when she was ready and she never did. Oh, that's a bummer. Ah, uh, super bummer, dude. Hopefully, you know, get some chill vibes going, hang out, relax, and hopefully tomorrow goes better. That's why I said it requires skill. Anyway, buddy, I really need an espresso to keep me awake tonight. Coming right up! I can make those. Those are the easiest ones. Ding! Serves up! An energet energetic espresso to keep your officer upright on patrol. Hey, you and your sense of humor. Your espressos are always out of this world. It's just coffee. Definitely better than mine or my wife's. It's not a competition, officer. Ha, it is for her. She thought if she could make a better one, I'd stop coming to this place so often. Why would, does she want to stop coming here? That's not happening anytime soon. Anything special today? Surprisingly, no. Gotta make sure this place is safe, though. What are you grinning about? I mean it. You were here the last two days, right? Yes, I was. And some crazy things happened here. And two days in a row. As if the gods were trying to give me first-hand experience. To use in my story. Still fretting over your story, eh? Well, the deadline for my draft is getting nearer. Oh, yeah. How's it going? Quantity-wise, it's shaping up pretty well. Quality-wise, honestly, I'm pretty confident. Hell yeah. Best of luck, then. You have any updates? About the last two days of chaos? Or the werewolf case? I spoke to Gala about it. What? Are you gonna arrest him? Some officers at the precinct were talking about it. But in the end, we agreed not to do it. Because he really helped a lot that night. We asked the folks in the hospital, and some other people in the area, without him, we'd have a lot more problems. He helped a lot getting most of the werewolves in a safe... Of the werewolves safe in that hospital. Too bad he couldn't lock himself up in time. Thankfully, he didn't hurt anyone. So those who'd rather detain him can't do anything anyway. Phew. I'd be pretty mad at you if they had to arrest him. <laughs> I'm doing fine, my dude. Thanks for asking. I'm trying to get a PS5 today and Walmart stupid bullshit. We're trying to verify your identity. And you fucking... You have to click and hold a stupid button until it fills. That was infinite it was just a cycle just repeated it's like you couldn't do it it's all over the internet right now so that was annoying i wanted to make a meme about it oh yeah okay see you you know what maddox it's so fucking stupid apparently it's been a problem forever too all right cool i'm a person verify your person i'm a person verify your person i'm a fucking person and just and then you keep doing that, and eventually it'd be like, uh, all sold out. Lagging camera again. Am I dropping any frames? No, I'm not dropping any frames. Why am I lagging? Hmm. How bad is it, though? Let's see. It's like watching a dubbed anime. Oh my god. All right, hold on. Let me see. Um, what's today's date? 25. Oh, I think I might know the problem. Hold on. You're going to see multiples. I'm a person. How bad is it, though? Let's see. The recording is fine. It might be a Twitch thing. 
because the recording is spot on. That's annoying. It's been making your brain itch. <laughs> I know Twitch has been having some encoding issues um, all day. Spectre was having all sorts of problems. And I've been seeing a lot of dropped frames and stuff from other streamers, so... I don't know, maybe it's something with Twitch. I would say, maybe, is the audio out of sync for the game too, but you guys can't tell that. Because they ain't talking. There's no like, ding ding attack sounds. You know? I know. What about Rachel's dad? Any idea what happened? I'm not too sure myself. Most of it didn't happen around here. What? Yeah, it seems like it happened out near Coachella. That's a long way away. I mean, it's not actually that far. But he didn't... You wouldn't be able to walk it. Not in that state. So far, that's all I know. Did someone fucking carry him after beating him up? Okay, so, yeah, maybe a, a browser refresh may help? Hey, how's your dad? Rachel! Rachel? Is Mr. Hendry alright? Before that, can I have a cup of hot chocolate, Dark? Is that gonna be any different? Maybe then. Refreshing better? Okay, whew! Thank you. Great, no longer itchy. <laughs> Chocolate. Straight up. Here you go. Your hot chocolate's ready. Your hot chalky milk. Thank you. Yeah, it's going to be fine. We woke up this afternoon. Thanks to Mr. Gala. He got help fast enough to stop things getting worse. Father and daughter achievement unlocked. He's doing okay then? It'll take a few days before he fully recovers. But no permanent injuries we need to worry about. That's good to hear. I know, but still, it's all because of me. Because I don't listen to him. And all he wanted to do was protect me. Rachel, don't blame yourself for this. Please don't take offense. But it is okay for you to leave your father alone in the hospital? His friends are there at the moment. And I can't face being stuck in a room with a bunch of people I don't even know right now. Can someone show her the newspaper from Douchebag McGee's party? And be like, look what you messed out on. Hell yeah. See, listen to your dad. Besides, I really need to get away for a bit. So I told dad I'm going to visit Coffee Tonk to get some fresh air. He's okay with that? He understands. He always does, I guess. Miss Rachel... What really happened last night? Dad got into a fight with some thugs. He heard them talking about me in some very suggestive, perverted ways. Yeah, get him. Beat him up, Dad. Oh. He didn't like that, of course. So he morphed into his cat form and started to fight with the thugs. Him. He... He wanted to fight some thugs, so he went from person size to cat size? That doesn't sound brilliant. No, that that doesn't compute in the brain. Yeah, why did he morph? Why did he morph? So people wouldn't see what his human form looked like. Okay, there he goes. That makes a little more sense. And link him directly to me. Some cops went to the crime scene. They found some eyewitnesses to testify. And they managed to find the thugs. Are they fans of yours? No. It's even worse. They work for Mr. Lester. You. What? Oh boy. The reason why it didn't take long for the cops to find them was because they were already under arrest. Because the party went too far last night. Oh, she does know. Whoa. How did it all connect up? They're Mr. Lester's bodyguards. 
were chilling after the show, having a pre-party before the big one. And you know, about the guys and locker room talk, right? Yeah. Well, that's what they were doing. Now is the topic of discussion. Ugh, I can, I, can we scooch by this topic right now? This is gonna make me itch. Ugh. So there's that. I'm sorry to hear that. And you were right about his party. I'm glad I wasn't there. Once again, I owe Dad for... Hey, it's okay. The most important thing right now is that you're safe. Exactly. And your dad made it through. I should have listened to him. He might be out of touch. But he's still way more experienced than me. And he's my father. I wish Mom was here. She'd know what to do. She'd know what to say to Dad when he's recovered. Just say... You appreciate him. You know what? I'm sure you'll know what to do. You're an adult, remember? But I don't know! All, all I know is I have to be there for him when... That's it. That's all you have to do. It might be weird to hear about it from some, about something coming from it, from Freya, but she is right. Be there when he needs you, Rachel. And whenever you need a breath of fresh air, you can come here and relax for a while. Nice! Thank you. I've had enough fresh air for one day. I'll, back, I'll go back to the hospital now. Thank you for the update, Miss Rachel. I wish your father a speedy recovery. Here's some milk that is bad for cats. Thank you, Ray. Goodbye. Man, what a weekend. You're gonna have a lot to write about. Pretty crazy, I know. Anyway, I've got to continue my patrol. It's been a pretty weird weekend. I thought it was like Wednesday. But overall, things are still safe around here. But even with that, never let your guard down, okay? No problem, officer. Thank you for checking up on us, Officer Georgie. Okay, then. See you. Are you going to leave as well, Freya? I don't think so. I've had enough rest. I have stories to write. You're not tired? Definitely not. In fact, I think I can get it done today. Hmm. All right. I won't bother you then. Oh, you're never a bother. Besides, this whole book project would have never existed without this place. And you. So, thank you. The pleasure was mine. I'm sitting there just like cleaning a glass. Now, I'm sure I shouldn't spend any more time on chit-chat. You've got a book to finish. <laughs> no problem, boss. Sweet, cool, and magically wakes you up. Two weeks later, whoa! Time jump. Coachella Festival proves to be a major boost for Seattle tourism. More women have spoken out and claim Morris Lester lied. Ha ha! Initial reports indicate possible herpes outbreak at Coachella. My friends! Hello! You're finally here. How'd your book go? Hey, all. Hey! Yo! Hey, Freya! That was hard. That's four different... Four five different voices there. Huh, someone's feeling happy today. Of course. D did they? They proved it! Hell yeah, Freya! I'm proud of you. I'm proud of a fucking video game character. We're so happy for you. Congrats! Oh my. You know how happy I am? I just... Now... All of a sudden she sounds different again. You know how happy I am? Judging from your expression, I'd say somewhere between ecstatically and rapturously. Rapturously happy. I like that phrase. You're goddamn right! Oh my god, oh my god! How did they react to the draft? To be honest, they're not that excited about the story itself. A story with an unhappy ending, huh? That's what they said. But at this point, I don't really care. As long as they publish it. 
I'm content with that. Anyway, whatever happens with the book now, I can take things a little slower. Because they gave me a year to finish it. Fuck yeah. With a feedback session every month. Sounds professional enough? Of course. They are the biggest publisher around. Enough about me. How's the coffee shop been doing? <gasps> I got some weird hiccup burps going on. It's been great. We've had a lot of new customers lately. Some old timers, of course. I heard Pied's back from his trip to Korea. Yeah, he brought us some gifts back. He didn't get anything for me? I'm not sure, but he did say. He always gives gifts directly. Gift giving the old-fashioned way, huh? How about you? Things are great. The last time I saw you was for your mini break? Yeah, we decided to go to Coachella. Wow. That event was a mess. <laughs> yeah, three hours at the festival was enough for us. So where do you go after that? We ended up in Fort Townsend. How was it? I enjoyed it. Never knew a historical trip could be fun. Oh yeah, I saw your new profile picture, Aqua. You both look so cute. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Thanks. Was that taken during your vacation? No, it was at Max. We had a Japanese-style photo booth there. So I forced her to take a picture together. You were at Max too, Myrtle? Yeah, I helped her out a bit with the booth. Thank you. You don't have to keep thanking me. By the way, have any of you heard from Neil? No. Not me. They did send two postcards. Postcards to the coffee shop. Really? Yeah. One's from Coachella. That's not even that far away. Why send a postcard? Hard to tell with them. What about the second one? It's from New York. What? What are they doing in New York? Probably trying to breed, dude. I hate that I just said that. I don't like it. Beats me. Working on their mission, maybe. That's what I should have said. Working on their mission. Ha, huh, yeah, probably. They'd send more of a chance there. She just called all New York New Yorkers hoes. Rude, Freya. Anyways, guys, we're leaving for the night. Oh, come on. So soon? We were here for hours before you arrived. And we need to work tomorrow. Fair enough. Take care on your way, then. Hey, that's my line. Good luck with the novel. Thanks. See you, Bay. See you around. <sighs> Birch, I wasn't going to say anything, but as soon as that came out of my mouth, I was like, oh. <laughs> and then you just go ahead and confirm it anyway. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I love you. You make me laugh. Uh... They look happier than when I first met them. I hope they're dating. They're kind of adorable. They do. Oh, that was me that said they look happier. It's not easy to find someone you can be comfortable with. It's such a short amount of time. Yeah. Anyway. Hey, dude. Just been staring at... Man, he's... He is so creepy to me. Sorry if it seems like I'm ignoring you, Baileys. Because I'm ignoring you. No worries. I don't feel ignored at all. Are you by yourself tonight? Nah, I'm waiting for Lua. She has some work to do. It's late at night? Yeah. You know, sucky by things. She's been doing overtime for the past few days. How are the two of you doing? Things have been great. In fact, after 10 years together, we're finally moving in together next month. Oh, that's cute. Wow, congrats. But I thought Lua lived with her, flight, her flatmate. Is that like flounder because that's a flat fish we're moving into a new place she got promoted recently and her company's providing her with an apartment that's dope wow she must really be a really big deal in her office well she definitely earns more than me hell yeah dude that's not saying much baileys oh that's right you kind of quit your job and a freelancer <laughs> you get oh i gave him a really annoying laugh last time didn't i him 
<laughs> something like a dying dolphin or something. You should say that to a fellow freelancer. Oh, here she comes. Hey, Elise. I'm so sorry. I didn't expect it to take so long. I thought it would be over done by... Honey, it's all right. Freya and Bay have been keeping me company anyway. Oh, hey, Freya. And Bay. Sorry for barging in without saying hi. How's it going? I would say things are great. But not as great as you two lovebirds. You told her already? Only about the moving in part. <laughs> as you've heard, we're going to move into the other next month. Where is it? Not far. I mean, the company provided the place. So they want to cut my commuting costs as much as possible. That's thoughtful of them. I mean, yeah, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna say it's because she probably claims travel expenses. It means they don't need to reimburse my taxi fees, and I'm working overtime. Oh yeah, that too. It also means we get to visit this place more often. That's a good point. We owe this coffee shop a lot anyway. Stop staring at me! Like, and he just, <laughs> he just stares at you every time. So creepy. I mention it. I have a question for both of you. Go on. The last time we met, I believe you were going to introduce Bailey's to your parents. How did that go? Man, her father didn't kill me at least. But at least Papa let you eat lunch with us. That's rare, you know. I know. And at least they didn't say no. Which means a lot, I guess. It was a good start. It was definitely a good start. Anyway, Bailey's, we need to go now. Or we'll miss the intro again. You folks going somewhere? Yeah, we're going to watch the midnight screening of Full Metal Conflict. I didn't take you for someone who likes FMC, Lua. I don't, but this guy loves it. Hey, you always enjoyed watching me play the game. I enjoyed watching you, not the game. Too bad I didn't introduce you to Mortal Myrtle just now, Baileys. She worked on the game. Really? Oh well, I'll be visiting this place more often. I'll probably meet her again one of these days. You probably will. Now go, you lovebirds. You don't want to miss the movie. All right, catch up with you later, Freya. Bye, Vay. Enjoy the movie. There you go. I'm so happy for them. They've still got a long way to go. And probably a lot of obstacles in their path. Ten years, though. That's a long-ass relationship. But they're moving forward. Yeah. How will you write their story? As it is. It's beautiful enough. And has enough drama. Ha! <laughs> That's one way to put it. Anyway. What's the that look for? You haven't told me about any of our other friends here. How are they doing? They only skipped coming for ten days. What do you expect? Come on. They played an important part in my writing process, remember? Well, there are some updates about the regulars. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Where should we start? Pass the time. Oh, Lua visits this place more often now that they live nearby. Last time they came, they were talking about catering and venues. I'd returned from his trip to Korea and brought gifts. Some are more special than others. He brought, got him a bunch of ginger. <laughs> he said it because he moved back. Ah, he's got fuzzy handcuffs. Alfred continues to work with the university. What's up, Yuri? She's still working on small indie games and differences. She's not alone now. Yeah, I want my cookies. So you're taking for the cookies. Come get his cookies. Neil. The only news about them are the two postcards they sent me. Rachel's back at the recording studio preparing for her first solo album. I was gonna say your dad. She found a new manager, someone who made the news as a legend of coming back to the industry. A pop, that's cool. And finally, Freya, she finished her book. Get get published and have some signing sessions. Sadly, the book didn't sell well. She still visits regularly, now working. Oh, wait, is this the end? What? That's the end? How? All right. I was like not even halfway through the game and I had like seven or eight hours into it and now i've played for an hour and that finished like 60 percent of it i'm confused
Also, can we just talk about the fuzzy handcuffs? Because I suspected that Hyde and Gala were a couple. But the fact that he brought fuzzy handcuffs makes me laughy. Makes me laughy. Makes me laugh. And uh, I really hope they're made out of, uh, like, his fur. I, I special ordered these from your fur, hun. That's romantic, right? I know ra romance. I'm good at this stuff. Development cats. Augie Bailey's Lua TJ Tofu. Wait. There was development babies too. And one of them name was Aqua. Did they name characters after real people? I would hate that. No hand, hand, hand cuz that was for <laughs> What isn't wouldn't it be the same as like Honey, I got a lock of your hair and I put it in a necklace and I wear it with me always. Would that not be the same? Also, those are uncomfy. What, fuzzy handcuffs? Aren't you supposed to get like high quality fuzzy handcuffs for them not to be uncomfy? Like, so they're squishy, but also not itchy. Because if you get like the bad material, then they're just itchy as fuck. No, that's not the same. Achievement unlocked. There's a spark. I don't know what that means. That's a picture of Gala and Hyde, though. Hey! New person and no sound. Hello. <gasps> Yo, is this Neil? Hello, babe. Good evening, sir. Uh, have we met before? I'm sure this is your first time here. Of course, I've been here. In fact, I've worked here before. What? What? Wait. No way. Is that really you? It's been a while. You've changed a bit too much. Who the fuck are you? I've learned a lot about how to live with your... Oh, it's Neil. I was right. I've learned a lot about how to live with your people since then. He's a doctor? I assume it was a success then? Multiple successes. What's with the new look then? Just trying to blend in. It seems like an Earthling immigration agency is after me. Now that you mention it, somebody did visit this place looking for you. When was it? Not so long after your second visit here. Is he a bald guy in a suit? Yes. The fire agent? Should I give him the same stupid voice? Even though he's not in it? I think we should. As, as annoying as it is, it is, I think it would be funny. That fire agent. You've seen him? Yes. Thankfully, I've changed my appearance since then. By the way, you can drop the act in front of me. So you finally noticed? I think that such power can be born from our kind. Yo, and I'm, I'm an alien? Yes, all cuffs need to be a higher quality. They are much better. Yep. Uh. You were good with your act, though. It took a few tries, but there are some timelines where I... I'm a time traveler. But I forget to pretend that I don't have some knowledge of certain stuff. Hmm. Interesting. Now, I'm curious to know about those mistakes. Well... It happened a few times. First, when Freya told me about her meeting in the elevator. Then it was the first time Rachel visited this place. And the last one involved you on your second visit. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, and there was another one right after Freya got her draft approved. Can you show it to me? Assuming you know how to... How I communicate with my kind. Never tried it, but let's see. She even unlocked interstellar support. You've beaten the main story of the game, but you haven't seen everything yet. Achievement unlocked. Is that it? I am... What? 
okay. When it said the mistakes, was that the mistakes I made with the coffee? No. Did it mention the mistake I had with Aqua? I don't think it mentioned the mistake I did with Gala. You can change outcomes. <laughs> You sound excited. Dude, there's mods in this game? Yo! Hold on. There's mods for this game? Wait. Wait. Coffee. Talk. Steam powered. Workshop. Voice over localization mod. What? Oh my god, there's voice... <sighs> Guys, there's voices in this game. There's a voice mod. Is that the only one? Uh, I always forget where the workshop is. Work. Stinking. Steam. Workshop. Okay, workshop home. Search. Coffee. Talk. Yes. <gasps> Guys! Oh my God. There's a pink haired Freya. Oh my God, guys. There's a voice thing. Coffee Talk Mod Samples. We collaborate with YouTube creators and voice actors and we present you the first Coffee Talk Mod. Now you can hear the voice acts as your favorite characters from Coffee Talk. Uh, I want to see. Show me an example. Oh, man. Okay. Freya is voiced by Gina. I don't know who any of these people are. Shy Ren, Hunter McCoy, Pigglebutt, or Piglet Butt. <gasps> I don't know who any of them are, but there's voices. Damn it. Well, that's fine. Okay. Oops. I clicked a name. Look, game progress shows half. How do I? Oh, here you go. Extras. Gallery. What is this? I don't remember this. I was right. They are her feet. The tentacles are her feet. Look at her. She's so happy. Eh, look at they had their little photos taken. Look at this art. This is great. Who's that? Who's that? Is that supposed to be Freya? I think that's Neil's hit face. I'm assuming one of them is Rachel. Oh, it's the, the one on the right because she's got the tail thing. Look at that bag. It looks puffy. Oh, there's a locked one. Okay, so I missed something there. <laughs> I love that. Here's some ginger to keep your fury down, but if it gets out of hand, here's some handcuffs. Hell yeah.
game is cute. Aww. Are these all concept arts? I like that one. That one's cute. You, okay. I had to check to see if you guys could see all these. Forgot for a second. Look at them all. All my friends. I don't know who you are. Oh, you might be, um, Bailey's. Oh yeah, I think this is early concept art. Those are cool. Look at his glasses. Vampire male, calm but angry. Question mark. <laughs> oh yeah, I like Hyde's new version. So much better. Her eyes are cool. They're glowy. Look at the, her hair. It changes color. That's super cool. Aqua looks scary in that one. Uh, the first one, she has dead eyes. It's just colored in. Oh, the sixth one is worse. Oh, I don't like it. Who's that? Who's this? <laughs> oh, did they, did the barista used to have a portrait? Or are there characters that I maybe missed? Whoa, look at the early build. I missed one. Trash of 25. Oh, that's cool. They list the achievements here. Correct 50 challenge mode. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Thank you, I guess. Unlock all achievements. <laughs> this game is clever. Comic. There's a comic. Yo. I've been in front of this coffee shop's entrance for so many times now. This place looks warm and cozy, but I can't bring myself to actually go in. Tomorrow for sure. No, go in! Will I get in trouble for showing this? How many beings are obsessed with things that perish by time? Look, wealth, relationship, after hundreds of years. Look, it still looks like someone about it. Oh, these are scrollies. Shit. Oh, this could take a while. How many are there? Oh, wait. I just looped. One, two, three, seven, eight. Are these this? Over time. I kind of want to read these, but I don't know if I'll get in trouble. Plus, I don't want to spoil them for anyone that wants to see it. What's endless mod? Preview. So do I get new people? Here you go. whatever you want. Is this literally just to figure out recipes? Yeah, I think this is just to... Is it save actually my recipes? Oh, it actually might save my recipes. That's kind of cool. Challenge mode do. Green tea, cinnamon, sugar, ginger. Green tea, cinnamon, ginger. Go. Here you go. Have it. Done. 
Yay, you're happy. Good job. Let's go. Green tea, cinnamon, and cinnamon. Green tea, cinnamon, cinnamon. Go. We got this. We're on the clock. Let's go. It's so slow. Serve. Yes. Tea, ginger, and tea. Tea, ginger, tea. You can... That's weird. Okay. Is this literally just a, a quick click kind of thing? Yeah, she's happy. Chocolate, chocolate, cinnamon. Chocolate, chocolate, cinnamon. Boom. I'm good at this. Boom. Oh, I get more time. Milk, cinnamon, ginger. Milk, cinnamon, ginger. Boom. Next up. I hope I'm just shooting coffee and snorting cocaine to get this done. Bam, go. Next. 15 seconds. Let's go. Mint, milk, or milk, mint, cinnamon. Milk, mint, cinnamon. Blam. For the angry vampire. Get the fuck out of my line. Take your drink. Let's go. Cinnamon ginger tea. Wait. Cinnamon ginger tea. Cinnamon ginger. I don't fucking know. I, you said it out of order. You said it out of order, Aqua. How dare you? Get the fuck out of my line. I'm assuming it's just going to get harder. Mint cinnamon coffee. Mint. Cinnamon. Go. Why are you guys doing it all weird out of order now? You guys are rude. Boom. Creepy chuckle stare. Get out of here. Honey ginger milk. Milk. Honey ginger. Oh, hell yeah. We got this. Not a worry. Boom. The man's on a mission. Cinnamon milk chocolate. Cinnamon. Milk. Cinnamon mint chocolate. Shit. Chocolate. Cinnamon. Mint. Ah, I wasted so much time. Achievement unlocked. Barista trainee. Let's go. Mint honey, green tea. Mint honey. Let's go. This game came, went from like super relaxing to crazy stress. C drink with cinnamon milk. Link. Okay. Anything with cinnamon milk? Cinnamon milk. Here you go. Coffee cinnamon milk. You didn't specify. Don't be pissed, you piece of shit. You didn't specify, asshole. Lemon ginger green tea. Lemon ginger. Let's go. Boom. I can't tell if he's happy he has the same. Gingerbread coffee. Fuck! No, it's getting difficult. G coffee, gingerbread, cinnamon. Uh, coffee, uh, ginger, cinnamon. Blam. No, don't give me the names. That sucks. Black magic, please. Fuck. I don't know that one. I'm going to make it up. Black magic. Uh, black um, coffee and uh, uh, mint and uh, milk. Fucking. You're not going to like it. It's fine. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Please be right. Oh, fuck. That would have been sick. Uh, coffee. What do you guys think black magic is? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, milk and mint. I, I think I remember seeing mint. Is that what I just did? That's what I fucking just did. Uh, coffee, mint, and cinnamon. Oh, shit. Uh, coffee... Uh, mint, honey. I only have a couple more. Coffee, coffee, cinnamon. Ah! Whoa, that gave me 21 seconds. Give me cough syrup. I, I learned that one. Cough syrup. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Cough syrup. Green tea, lemon, honey. Green tea, lemon, honey. Let's go. I've only done 14. Yeah, get out of my line. The Grinch? Uh... I don't know. 
Everything green. What's the fucking Grinch? Okay, that's not it. Uh, oh shit, I'm out of the things. The Grinch, bruh. That's not fair. Uh, TT. Oh, I can't. I don't know. What's the fucking Grinch? It was. Oh, it'd probably be super bitter, huh? Trash. Oh, I, I have unlimited. Okay, so what's super bitter? Um. Bitter. Yes. Fuck. Uh, no! I ran out of time. That's all right. That's enough for the day. Well, that was fun. That was challenge mode. Okay. Well, I kind of want to get that, the, the mod real quick. Because if we play this again some other time. Um... That can be fun. Let's see. How do I get these? Copy talk. Barista voice pack. Okay. So I need. Sure. I'll subscribe. Ow. Oh. Oh. God damn it. I gotta. No, I probably won't. Oh, wow. I didn't realize I only had 15 minutes or a little more than 50 more minutes of stream left. Um, okay. Log into Steam. Yes. The authenticator. I want to hear these voices. Subsnerb. And maybe we'll just round off the night by listening to some of this. Although, can I do that? Also, did it download? That's the question. I should have checked. Library. I guess we'll see. Maybe the progress is if you unlock everything and all the different endings. Aha! Freya, Lua, Bailey's, and Barista. Oh shit, is it going to start me over? It's starting me over. Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah, we know we know all this. Stories. Oh my gosh. Horizon just got a release date. No, oh, I don't want to join a fucking school. Nice. Audio source is fucked up. But she has a much better voice than I gave her. 
Shit. I didn't know there was mods. Hey, barista. How's the night so far? This is nice. It's calm, as usual. I'm a lady barista. Got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? That's the same voice actress. My supplier made some more just I need to switch. Time out. Uh, main menu. Now the escape button works. Wait. Wait. Options. Exit. Let me out. There it is. Yes. Okay. I did see a mod where there was a different voice pack. Let's see. Um, there you go. Gonna validate the files. Okay. You know, I hear you making funny snorry noises. Ah, shit! I didn't load the new mod. What's up, yellow recruiter? <laughs> Look. Oh, yeah. It's... Gotta go back. I do have a dog I stream with. Jada! She's sleeping off camera. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome back. Uh, let's see. Um, Mod. Maybe. Okay, we'll put it second and see what it does. Holy crap, you've been falling for two years? How you been in two years? Welcome. Oh, it's you. Your voice. Hey, barista. How's the night so far? It's calm as usual. Okay, I need to change the, uh, where's the audio volume? Okay, maybe that's better. New, we got voices now. Well, we technically just finished this game. Um, and now I'm just kind of rounding off stream and I found out there's mods. So now we're listening to uh, some of the voice mods because I had a voice act all this whole game by myself. Huh? And now I kind of wish I knew about this because my voice acting probably ruined this game. <laughs> and uh, took away from the immersion. My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. This anyway, is great. Let me set things up first. You're our first customer after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. This would have been better, although I would not be talking all game, so... Huh. Writer's block again? I don't know. You got that right. I guess weigh it out. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Beep, beep, beep. Sorry, hold on. I'm making something. Pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. I want Do to hear some of the other voices. Hold on. Yeah, and if... Anyway. Shit. Here you go.
Have this. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my. Mm, All right, let me see. Oh, I think the next person that comes in is Bailey's. And anyway, where were we? Skip, 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 skip. I want to know. I want to know someone else's voice. You're cool, Freya, but I want to know. Anyway, where were we? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, I can fast forward. Blam! Oh, I can just hold it. I did a thing. Hey, it's Lua. Hi there. Oh, I like her voice. Hello. Good evening. For here, oh, I can just. Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. The auto is so nice. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So, definitely no coffee. How about chocolate? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Anything with chocolate, please. Hell yeah, let's make her some chocolate. How about some chocolate latte? Oh, make her some art. Uh, let's see. What are we making? If I could, like, spin this thing at the same time, that'd be kind of cool. Oh, you can't do colors. Whoops. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going with the flow here. It kind of looks like an inverted tree. Ooh, that actually kind of looks cool. I, yep, totally meant to do that. Neat. Enjoy. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Delicious. Thank you. Enjoy. So mm. Delicious. So, you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. <laughs> Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place yeah, was more awesome. crowded. Considering it's the only cafe that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only cafe that still opens past midnight. Now it... that you mention it, is it good for business having the cafe? Oh, definitely not. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this okay. hour. Okay, time to fast forward. That's fascinating. Hey, Bailey's. Welcome. Are you gonna work? Hi. His voice is much Sorry. better than the voice I gave him. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Yeah, his voice is much better. Right, we should have like stuck with that. Something? Although I think there's only three, or according to the mod page, there's only like four voices, anyways. What kind of order is that? So, only half well, of the I people that show up are voiced. Do you have any preferences, sir? And that includes the barista. So I think these three and oh, the barista are voiced. So. The other ones I don't think so much. Something bitter to keep you awake and draw some latte art on top. Did you not say... Oops.
Okay, I'm gonna pretty much make you the same thing. Except coffee instead of... <laughs> instead of hot chocolate. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, look! I totally meant to do that. Do you know what that is? That's a planet bomb from DBZ. <laughs> yep. Spirit bomb. Here's your order. <laughs> is this what you call latte art? Shut the fuck up! I'll punch you in the face! Perfect. What a dick. I was right. He's an asshole. I was distracted by some work. Plus just the rain. It's okay, Baileys. That was awesome, our throw of the coffee in his face. Nice chat with them. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. Rude, dude! Anyway. I'm Baileys. That was, uh... <laughs> that was the voice mods of the game. But, um, I think this is where we call this stream. Because... I mean... We're ten minutes early, but there's nothing else. To really do with that. Plus, this possibly gives us the opportunity to go raid a friend that I normally... Or, one of the friends that I normally can't raid because they always raid us. Because they always end slightly before we end. So let's go see what we got. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think Sloth was playing. Let's see. We got... Yo! Tree is playing Spirit Fair. We just beat that. Kale is playing Metroid. Sloth is playing... Oh, uh, I guess Sloth was playing uh, Dark Souls 3 earlier, but they were on the last boss, so maybe they beat it because she's playing DVD now. Uh, so was Gimmick. Uh oh, did someone just... Oh, someone just uh, ended stream because my thing just refreshed. Let's see. Okay, so who is actually live? Oops, wrong button. Let's, uh... Do you guys want to go see DVD, or do you want to see some Spirit Fair? Actually, I should open them to make sure that they're not ending. Oh, sliding. Man, Spirit Fair was so good. Okay, so neither of them are ending. So we can... You want to see some DVD? All right, we'll go raid Sloth. She's a lovely bean. We absolutely love her. She's a, a member of the... Uh, brain fart. Uh, the quarantine, the D&D campaign that uh, I run on Sundays. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get to play uh, this Sunday. Um, hopefully, we'll progress some of the story. Um, it was very exciting. I, I enjoyed Coffee Talk. Tomorrow we're going to be playing some Final Fantasy XIV because um, it's the last uh, kind of stream day of the week kind of thing. And hopefully this weekend I can get some, uh, uh, some either or get do the Lego build that the community help or the community channel points redemption thing that happened. So it would be nice to get that out of the way. And then next week we're going to be starting... Um, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, which was gifted by Birch. Thank you so much, Birch. I appreciate you. And uh, there... Oh, that's something I forgot to do. There is a current uh, game vote up in the Discord, so go vote on which game you want to see me play after uh, the Star Wars game. According to the Star Wars... Or what I read online is Fallen Order is about 17 hours long or something like that, but it'll probably take me like 20 plus Anyways, Hello, my friend Moira, ben. you made it right at the end. Yes, you did. How you doing, my friend? I just, I did see you just post in the Discord about uh, Horizon finally getting a release date, and that is super exciting. That makes me want to get a uh, what's it called? A PS5 sooner than later. Now you were kicking the on spot. Did you win? Did you win? Did you win? Did you win? Did you win, son? Oh yeah, that uh, that in the the treats command, uh, 
Yellow is, uh, it's subs only. You did? Nice! So, that means, uh, you, you finished the max endgame content for the current expansion, right? Until they release more stuff. <gasps> I gotta keep Sloth open just in case she ends up... <gasps> Like trying to end her stream while we're gonna raid. <laughs> you have nothing much now to do except dailies. Oh no! I mean, you could always jump in Final Fantasy fourteen with us. Because uh, actually, I'll be playing that tomorrow on stream. So we'd love to have you if you are feeling dizzy down. Also, anyone else that wants to play along, uh, there is a. Referral code in the Discord if you do want to join for Final Fantasy 14. It's free to play all the way up through level 60, which is dope. So sad I can't get a bunny girl. Oh, that's right. You can't get, you can't be bunny girl without, uh, well, not even the full game. I think you need the expansion, one of the expansions for, uh, the bunny people, right? But I think if you buy the latest expansion, you get all of it. Not saying you should buy the latest expansion, by the way. Um, but I think that's one cool thing that, or one of the cool things about them is just buy, if you buy the latest expansion, you get every previous expansion for them, which unlocks everything, which is pretty great. Um, anyways, is there anything else, my friends? It was a short stream because I was trying to get us a PS5, but. Oh, well, but I'm excited because another reason I wanted to get the PS5 is because the Ghost of Tsushima d uh, director's cut got released. And I was like, man, it's probably not long. It's not probably going to be worth it. Maybe it's like an hour of content. Sometimes those director's cuts are like, oh, it's a whole side area that means nothing. But I've, I've been watching a couple of people play it. Um, there's like 17 additional hours of content or something. And it looks awesome. And they've added some new stuff. And maybe since it's like, making the game kick off and be alive again. Maybe we can actually uh, meet up with some other streamer friends and do some of the PvP or uh, multiplayer stuff, which it sounds like there is going to be a PvP thing uh, where it's like a, I think it's like a 4v4 and you, you're, it's a wave survival thing and you're not fighting each other necessarily, but you get like power up points kind of thing and you make the other team's life harder by using your power-up points. So I have no idea how it works, but if I were to guess, it'd be like, cool, I have enough power-up points. I'm going to send them four shield dudes, which are a pain in the ass to kill kind of thing. That sounds kind of fun. Anyways, my friend, let's go uh, raid Sloth. We love her. Lovely bean, lovely channel of people. Love her aesthetic. She's a wonderful person. Apparently, we're raiding real quick, so it's going now. Oh, no. I, I, the timer just went by fast um, and she's playing some DVD. Uh, let's go give her some love. If you guys know how this works, get your messages on ready. Let's go give her some love. Get some sweet channel points ready for you guys. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Hope you guys have fun. If you guys did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let me know what you're liking and what you're not liking. But more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets, adopt on shop, donate to a rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That, uh, whoa. I forgot the rest of my outro. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and ranches out that are very much in need. I got ahead of myself. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'm Face of Jada! She's off doing her own thing because she already had dinner uh, before stream. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'll catch you guys over there. See ya. Jada, what are you doing? Come here. Come here. Guys, there are better ways to get your bush ready for summer. Bro, these fucking ads. Are you kidding me? Come on. It's a whole new. Feel like it.